Rescue teams in New Orleans are still searching for a missing construction worker in the rubble of a deadly building collapse. Dramatic video captured the moment when the Hard Rock Hotel, which was under construction, toppled onto a busy street below. As Meyer of VRL reports, at least two people were killed, another 30 were injured. Oh my God. Two days after this half-finished hotel came crashing down, the family of a man still missing is camping out near the site waiting for word, any word, including Anthony Magretta's wife, Nova. I'm not leaving until he comes out. They're a pair. You can't separate them two. Magretta was one of more than 100 construction workers at the Hard Rock Hotel. His family says the grandfather was supposed to be off but was called into work at the last minute. My brother's the type of person, he would try to get everybody out before getting himself out. He won't leave nobody behind. We need to move all this ground as far back as possible. I'm looking at some of this structure, it's still unstable. It's fall at any time. Terrified passengers on a New Orleans trolley car were just yards away when the structure came crashing down and were caught up in the giant cloud of dust which spanned several city blocks. David Dones witnessed the aftermath. It was debris all over, it was smoke and people running around and just a bit of a catastrophe. The contractor, Citadel Builders, has been working on the 18-story hotel since 2015. It was set to open this spring. Obviously, we're in rescue mode, look for this person that's missing, but uh, it is still a very, very dangerous building. Hard Rock says they are not involved in this construction. Citadel Builders tells us that they are mourning the loss of life and injuries at this accident. And they've actually flown in engineer experts from Europe to try and help stabilize the building. They are also working with local authorities on multiple investigations. Mireya Villarreal, CBS News, New Orleans, Louisiana.